Hi everyone, this is Prophetess Shanika Sutton and this prior audio is specifically for breaking evil covenants. Now, a covenant is like a contract or an agreement. So we can actually enter into an agreement with a witch or a warlock and by virtue of that, demons. Witches and warlocks work with demons. It was my belief that you can only enter into a contract with a witch, a warlock, the devil himself, when you live in sin and and when you deliberately do it. So you deliberately enter into a contract with the enemy or because you're living in sin, you already have given place to the enemy. I didn't know that you could be living right. And because of ignorance, you enter into a contract with a witch or a warlock and you give them legal right. I didn't know this. No, if you're living in sin, you're going to have to repent. Because once you're living in sin, once you're fornicating, committing adultery, smoking, getting drunk, going to the club, dressing naked, always cursing, you hate people, you're unforgiving, jealous, prideful. Once you're doing any of these things mentioned and anything else that I could have left out that God may be convicting you about listening to certain kinds of music, watching certain kinds of movies and TV shows, you're always going to give place to the enemy because you will live for him and you work for him. So for some of you who like to do tarot card readings, you like to go to the sidekick, you like to get information from astrology. All of these things are linked to witchcraft. You're dabbling in witchcraft and you don't even know. So for persons who like doing these things, you have sought the wrong source. You went to a psychic. You're already making a covenant with the spirit of witchcraft. And if you don't break that covenant, you'll never be free. But outside of doing sinful things, you can be a Christian living right. And you're still entering into contracts and covenants with devils with witches with warlocks and you don't know how how can i do that if i'm living right well i used to have that same question until god showed me that you can eat from a witch and you don't even know it's a witch they poison the food with their spells and all of that even if it's not physical poison they curse it they give you gifts that were cursed these gifts were cursed to do a certain thing in your life so somebody gives you a pair of shoes to wear and all of a sudden you're having issues with your feet somebody gives you money then all of a sudden you go broke because these items were cursed to do a particular thing and when you received these items you unknowingly entered into a contract with the witch or the warlock who handed these gifts to you with the demons behind the witches and warlocks not knowing that you are not bound. Now you can fast forward this, but it's important that you listen at least once, because I know that you're going to be using this audio often, but it's important for you to hear this at least once. The Bible says my people perish because of lack of knowledge. So because of not knowing who your enemies are, not knowing what the enemy is doing, not praying for discernment, not watching your dreams, not asking God for dreams on what people are doing, then people will come and deceive you and you don't know. And that has happened to me. Taking gifts, not knowing that they were meant to curse you. Then you're wondering, why isn't your life going well and you're living for God? Why are you having certain dreams and you have never indulged in certain things? Because you made a covenant with the enemy and you did not know. The most important thing is that Jesus Christ will set us free. So even if you are not a Christian today and you've been engaging in sin, and making covenants with the enemy because you're living for the enemy and now you want to be free you will be free in jesus name once you repent of your sins and if you're already a christian and you've been living right but you were ignorant as to who your enemies were and what they were doing and you did not ask god about the people around you so it landed you in trouble we are still going to break those covenants today in jesus name And for all of us listening here today, we've all been in positions where 
the enemy came into our lives and we didn't even know that it was the enemy. We didn't even know that these persons who we trusted so much, they were being used by Satan. They were witches. They were on a mission. And you were cursed and, and you entered into an agreement and you had no idea. But Jesus Christ is more than able to set you free. So we're going into the prayers right now. And the Lord also told me to say this. Some of you might be saying, oh, I don't eat from people. Oh, I don't take gifts from people. Oh, I don't see how anybody could enter into a covenant with me. There can be word covenants as well. Where you say things and you allow yourself to enter into an agreement and you don't even realize. Oh, I will always be together. Oh, we'll always be friends. I'll never leave your side. Not even realizing that you're making a covenant with someone evil. They just want to hear certain words to keep you bound. And also, if you're at work and you leave your pen hanging, somebody can curse it. You leave your shoes hanging somewhere where you have a lot of haters and there are a lot of witches. They could take your shoes and curse it. If you leave your food open, your water open, somebody who hates you could take it up and curse it and then you drink it or you eat the food and you don't even realize that you've been cursed, that you entered into a covenant with this person when you received the trap that they set for you. But the good thing is, I'm not trying to scare anybody because all we need is discernment. Once we have discernment and spiritual insight, God will say, hey, don't drink that because somebody cursed it. Hey, you know what? Don't leave your water there. Don't leave your shoes there. Don't wear that shoes anymore. Pray over that shoes before you wear it. God will let us know what to do. The problem is when we're in ignorance and we don't even know how to pray and ask God to expose our enemies. We don't even know what's going on in the spiritual realm. We're not creating fear or trying to promote fear because we don't need to fear what the enemy is doing. We just need to be in the know because the Bible says, if we don't know the enemy's devices, if we're ignorant of the enemy's devices, he will take advantage of us. So we are going to start praying. Every covenant, and you're going to repeat after me, every evil covenant that I unknowingly entered into, whether by receiving gifts, whether by eating from a witch, a warlock, whether by operating in ignorance, taking the items that they curse for me, saying certain things out of my mouth, whatever it is, I declare right now, and God will show you too, whatever way that you entered into a covenant and you didn't know god will show you whatever what i say is just limited to what i have seen and what god has shown me but there are many other things you can do and you're not aware so every covenant that i entered into unknowingly i declare right now that the bible says who the sun sets free is truly free indeed so I am free from evil covenants that I entered into. I am free from any legal right that any witch or warlock had over my life. I am a new creature in Christ. Come on, say it with me. I am a new creature in Christ. And all things are passed away. So any covenant I made in the past, is passed away old things are passed away any evil covenant i made is passed away and behold all things are made new so i am under a new covenant with my lord and savior jesus christ for he died on the cross and shed blood so that i could be free so no longer Will evil covenants speak over me? Come on, say it with me. No longer will evil covenants speak over me. For Jesus Christ has set me free from any covenant I entered into. Jesus Christ has set me free from their evil schemes. And now I am under a new covenant. 
and Jesus Christ is the mediator. Anything that I could have said that would have led me into a evil covenant with a witch, a warlock, with the spirit of witchcraft. Any word covenants that I made, I revoke it now in Jesus' name. I renounce these word covenants I could have made unknowingly. I renounce them now in Jesus' name. Only the word of God will speak for me. Come on, say it with me. Only the word of God will speak over my life. So any word covenants that were made unknowingly in the past, I declare right now that will no longer speak over me. I'm no longer bound by that. It's the word of God that will speak on my behalf. I am free. Come on, say it with me. I am free from all evil covenants in my life. Your ancestors could have made covenants also that are speaking over you, but you would need to use my audio for generational curses. Okay? So we're dealing with the covenants we made. So every evil covenant I made, I declare right now that I am free. For the truth of God will set me free. Any gifts that I received, I declare right now that these gifts will be exposed to me so I can throw them away. Some of you need to throw away these gifts. These gifts will be exposed to me. But whatever is in darkness must come to light. So all which is working behind the scenes will be exposed in Jesus' name. All the gifts that they have given you, everything that they have planned for you, whatever it is that they did in the past, it will be exposed and brought to light in Jesus' name. Whatever is in darkness must come to light. That's what the Bible says. Whatever is in darkness must come to light. Some of you are going to have dreams about the gifts that you were given because sometimes you don't even remember. So you can't say that, oh, I didn't receive anything from anybody. No, be humble. God, is there anything I received that I should not have received? Is there anybody I allowed in my life and I trusted and I didn't know that they were sent by the enemy? You can be deceived as well. This is why we need the knowledge of the Holy Ghost to guide us. Because we can be deceived. It doesn't matter how holy you are living or how connected you are to God. You can be deceived. And this is why we ought to humble ourselves and ask God for discernment at all times. Because we're human and we cannot do without Jesus' direction. So any gifts that were given to us that we don't know about, I declare right now that it will be brought to light in Jesus' name. All those covenants now are destroyed by fire. Every evil covenant that was established with us because of what we received, because of our ignorance. All of these covenants are now destroyed by the fire of the Holy Ghost. They will no longer speak over our finances. Come on. Evil covenants will no longer speak over our finances. Evil covenants will no longer speak over our marriage. Evil covenants will no longer speak over our relationships. Evil covenants will not determine the direction that our life will go in. Every legal agreement that we enter into with evil, with the enemy, with his agents, we destroy these agreements now in Jesus' name. We demolish these covenants now in Jesus' name. We are now directed by Jesus Christ himself. We have been born again and we are a part of the family of God. Galatians 3 verse 29 says, And if you are Christ, then you are Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. So that means that we belong to Jesus Christ. We are Abraham's seed. Abraham was blessed. He had faith. His entire bloodline was blessed. The promises of God were established in his life. So that means that that will be our portion because we are a part of the family of God. We're Abraham's seed. So the covenant that we made with Jesus Christ is speaking over us right now. 
So their evil covenants will no longer speak over us. Their legal agreements are no longer in effect because we have given our lives to Jesus Christ. Come on. I have given my life to Jesus Christ. So I'm now a part of his family. I am Abraham's seed. I am blessed. The promises of God will be established in my life. I have been given a great measure of faith. So whatever these evil covenants are saying, whatever these evil covenants were made to do, it will no longer have that effect over us in Jesus' name. It will no longer have that effect over us in the name of Jesus Christ. We revoke, come on, we revoke every contract that we made with the enemy. We revoke every contract that we made with witches. We revoke every contract that we made with the spirit of witchcraft, the devil, his demons. We revoke every contract that we entered into because of our ignorance. We repent and we revoke these evil covenants are no more in jesus name and these evil covenants will no longer speak over us we have withdrawn from this contract in jesus name we have withdrawn from every agreement we made with the enemy in jesus name we have withdrawn ourselves from every evil covenant that we entered into and we are now a part of the family of god we are now under his covenant for jesus christ shed his blood so that we could benefit from the new covenant and under that new covenant is salvation and freedom and peace and joy and abundant blessings and favor under this new covenant we are free so every old covenant that we entered into every old covenant that we were under all things are passed away. All those covenants are passed away. Those covenants are destroyed in Jesus' name. They no longer have a place in our life. But we are under a new covenant. Jesus Christ shed his blood so we could benefit from this covenant of freedom. Of salvation. We are free in Jesus' name. Who the Son sets free is truly free indeed. The Bible says, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. So that means the covenant that we are under with Jesus Christ, the covenant that he created when he shed his blood, the covenant that we have entered into when we gave our lives to him. And if you're not a Christian, you can give your life to him right now by repenting of your sins and asking him to come into your life. The covenant that we are now partaking in is greater than any evil covenant that we are a part of in the past so greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world greater is the covenant i'm a part of with jesus christ than any covenant that i entered into unknowingly or unwillingly greater is the covenant that is speaking over my life now than any other evil covenant that was previously speaking over me Jesus Christ is our deliverer. We are free from every bondage that we were under. Many times, like I said before, the bondage that we have placed ourselves under is because of our own actions. Sometimes, like I said, unknowingly, ignorantly. Those of you who are not Christians and you're listening to this, you're not living right. You have willingly given the enemy place in your life. So you need to say, Lord, forgive me for willingly allowing the enemy to come in my life. Forgive me for not making you my Lord and Savior. And every covenant that I made while I was in sin is destroyed now in Jesus' name. Every covenant that I made with the enemy because of sin is destroyed now in Jesus' name. For I've been born again and you are now my Lord and Savior. And those of you who are Christians too, there are things you could have done in the past that you repented of, but you didn't renounce and you made a covenant and you didn't know. So you can even say this in, re in relation to your past offenses. 
the bible says we overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony come on you're, you need to say that with me because it's the word of god that brings deliverance okay so the bible says we overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony that same blood was shed so that we could be a participant of this new covenant we overcome by the blood of the lamb so whatever covenant i entered into because i was blind and i did not see and i was unaware the blood of jesus christ is already speaking for me the blood of jesus christ is superior to any evil covenant that i entered into i have overcome and i am saved and delivered from any evil covenant that i entered into i am free i identify these covenants and i destroy them in jesus name god is going to visit you in dreams and show you what covenants you have made unknowingly he's going to show you he's going to show you the gifts that you received he's going to show you the, the enemies that are trying to feed you he's going to show you uh even sometimes you can give things to them as well he's going to show you that you gave things to them and they used it as a way to enter into a covenant with you some of you have donated to certain ministries that were not of god false prophets false teachers this is why i always pray before i give money anywhere i'm giving my money to i make sure that god is leading me there because i'm not going to give my money to no witch or warlock and enter into covenants with them unknowingly so if you have given to the wrong ministry in the past even if you're not sure just say that lord whoever i've given my money to wherever i've sown my money that wasn't good ground that was of the enemy i declare right now i am free from any covenant i entered into with my own gifts i declare that we are free from even voluntarily giving up our hard-earned money what we have made through sweat and blood what we own things that were dear to us that we gave up to these people not knowing that we were entering into covenants not knowing that they were going to use it for evil purposes i declare right now that we are free in jesus name those covenants are destroyed as well those covenants are no more in jesus name the bible says the word of god is like hammer and like fire breaking any rock into pieces jeremiah 23 verse 29 so right now every covenant is destroyed by the fire of the holy ghost every evil covenant that we enter into we destroy it now in jesus name and we declare that we are free we declare that it's a new covenant that is speaking over us with jesus christ as the mediator he shed his blood so we can be free so no longer will these covenants speak over us no longer will witches and warlocks have legal right over us because of what we gave because of what we did because of our own actions we are free now in jesus name god will bring to light all of the witches working behind the scenes their plots their goals their traps god is going to expose them he's going to let you know who not to take this from and who not to eat from and you need to ask as well god show me who to be careful of show me who not to eat from tell me when to throw away gifts Tell me when there's something going on, even if I'm unaware. We need to practice this in our lives. And God will show us and take our dreams seriously. Whatever item they took from me, come on, say that with me. Whatever item they took from me or I gave to them, I declare right now that the covenant is destroyed in Jesus' name. I am no longer in agreement with the enemy through ignorance. Through what I've received, through what I've given. I am no longer in a covenant with the enemy. They no longer have any legal right over me. For those legal rights are destroyed in Jesus' name. Those legal rights are cancelled in Jesus' name. The only person that has legal right over me. The only person 
that will speak over me and determine the direction in my life is Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. So your covenants are destroyed now in Jesus' name. Those covenants are destroyed now in Jesus' name. I am free. I'm free from their bondage. I'm free from the legal arrangement, from the legal rights that they had over me. I'm free in Jesus' name. The Bible says, God's hands are lifted up against our enemies and they shall be cut off. So I declare right now that God's hands are lifted up against these evil covenants that we entered into unknowingly, ignorantly, and they shall be cut off. God's hands are lifted up against these evil covenants we ignorantly entered into and they shall be cut off from our lives. God's hands are lifted up against these evil covenants and they shall be cut off from our lives in Jesus' name. Whatever it is that they did will no longer prevail. Whatever it is that they did to bring us into covenant with them, it will no longer stand. For no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Come on, whatever it is that they did or took from us, or what they deceived us into doing to enter into covenants with them. I declare right now it will no longer stand in Jesus' name. It will no longer stand in Jesus' name. For we are free. And no weapon formed against us shall prosper, including evil covenants. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. Evil covenants, what I've learned, it is that it's just a way for the enemy to have a stronger place in your life. Because when you give somebody access to your house, something as personal as your house. It's so much easier for them to do what they want because you gave them access in your house. So they can come and steal what they want and destroy what they want. When you don't give them access and they stay outside, it's going to be hard for them to come in and take what they want. You're more secure because they're outside. So the enemy has been using these evil covenants he knows how evil covenants work. He knows how legal rights work. So he uses these things to deceive us into entering into, into them so that these witches can have a place in our life. And then no matter how hard we pray, and I've learned this also, that when you're in an evil covenant with somebody, it doesn't matter, matter how much you pray, you will see results, but you will always be stuck even though you're seeing results in your life. So you pray, you'll see things changing, but... At the end of the day, some things have not manifested yet because there's an evil covenant. There's something that's speaking. You have given the enemy legal right, so you're praying, but there's a legal right that they have in your life that you need to destroy. And that's exactly what we're doing today. Those legal rights are destroyed now in Jesus' name. Those legal rights are destroyed now in Jesus' name. Those legal rights are destroyed now in Jesus' name. The Bible says the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. But they're mighty through God in the pulling down of strongholds. So we pull down these evil covenants now in Jesus' name. We demolish these legal rights now in Jesus' name. We destroy these evil covenants now in Jesus' name. The weapons of our warfare, they're not carnal, but they're mighty through God in the pulling down of every stronghold. Through God in, in the pulling down of every evil covenant that was speaking over us. That was hovering over us we are free in jesus name we are free in jesus name all our actions have been washed away by the blood of jesus christ all the things that we did to enter to allow the enemy to enter into our lives we are free now jesus christ is our lord and savior so he controls us we are in covenant with him and him only so every evil covenant is destroyed for this superior covenant that we are under come on say it with me this superior covenant that i'm under with jesus christ will speak over my life and every evil covenant is destroyed in jesus name any access we gave to the spirit of witchcraft to witches to warlocks i declare right now that the access is denied in jesus name we revoke the access that we gave to the enemy and his agents and we declare right now that that open door is closed and access is denied in Jesus name. Hebrews 7 verse 22 says, so much the more also Jesus has become the guarantee of a better covenant. So whatever covenant we made in the past, Whatever we got ourselves into, any agreements, contracts that we got ourselves into unknowingly, ignorantly, Jesus Christ is the mediator of a better covenant. 
and that is a guarantee. Jesus has become the guarantee of a better covenant. So once we have given our lives to Jesus Christ, once we have made a commitment to him, we are now under a better covenant. Come on, say it with me. I am now under a better covenant. So all other covenants are inferior. All other evil covenants that I made unknowingly are powerless. We are under a better covenant. And that is the covenant that is speaking over our lives. In Jeremiah 32 verse 40, it says that I will make an everlasting covenant with them that I will not turn away from them to do them good and I will put the fear of me in their hearts so that they will not turn away from me. This is Jeremiah 32 verse 40. God has made an everlasting covenant with me. Come on, say it with me. God has made an everlasting covenant with me. And he will not turn me away. But he will do me good. He will honor his promises. And he will put his fear in my heart. So that covenant now that we're referring to is superior to any other covenant. You're in covenant with Jesus Christ. So all the other covenants, all the other evil covenants are destroyed. They are no more. You're in covenant with Jesus Christ. And under this covenant, God honors his promises. Under this covenant, we will experience joy, love, peace and happiness malachi 2 verse 5 says my covenant with him was one of life and peace that's god speaking so say it with me the covenant that i've made with god is one of life and peace come on say it with me the covenant that i've made with god is one of life and peace that is the covenant that will speak over our lives that is the covenant that will determine the direction our lives will go in not evil covenants that we made in the past not evil covenants that we ignorantly partook in but we are free now and we are under a new covenant of peace and life and freedom in Jesus' name. Mark 14 verse 24. And he said to them, this is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many. This is my blood of the covenant. So the covenant that we are under is sealed by the blood of Jesus Christ. So that means any other covenant that was speaking over us, that was erected in our lives, that was present in our lives the blood of jesus christ has washed away all of those other covenants his blood is speaking over us and his blood has sealed that covenant that we are under the shedding of his blood now god also gave me a revelation that we can partake in the lord's supper at home okay once the Lord is leading you to do that, you can partake in the Lord's Supper at home. And it's a way of reinforcing the covenant that you have with Jesus Christ. It's a way of saying your blood that was shed has sealed this new covenant that I'm under. It reminds you of what Jesus did in your life. If you feasted at the table of the ungodly, you ate foods that were sacrificed to demons, that were cursed. Doing the Lord's Supper is a good way to eliminate that ritual, to say that I am not partaking in that covenant anymore. I will no longer be under that covenant anymore. I am under a new covenant where Jesus Christ shed his blood and his body was broken so that I can be free. 
Some of you have eaten at the table of the ungodly. You ate foods that were sacrificed to idols, to demons, and you didn't know. You took it and you partook in the ritual unknowingly, ignorantly. This is why we ought to pray and ask God to show us what's going on in the spiritual realm, to show us who our enemies are, to show us what we have done, what tactics were used to capture us, to hold us in bondage, to keep us hostage. God will expose all of that. And for some of you, the devil has attempted to make covenants in your dreams. Some of you have made covenants in your dreams and you didn't know that a covenant was being formed. This is why when you have bad dreams, you wake up and you rebuke it, you cancel it and declare that it won't happen. Because many times these demons visit your dreams to make covenants with you. Hebrews 8 verse 13 when he said a new covenant he has made the first one obsolete but whatever is becoming obsolete and growing old is ready to disappear when he said a new covenant he has made the first one obsolete so that means that this new covenant that we are under with jesus christ that he sealed with his blood this new covenant has made the old one the evil covenant that we were under before that we entered into unknowingly that we were tricked and deceived into entering into some of you in your past when you were not christians you were not tricked you deliberately stepped into the enemy's camp but even so jesus christ is still delivering you and even so that old covenant is obsolete so whether we went into the covenant unknowingly because we were deceived or you were in the world and you were serving the enemy the fact of the matter is that the new covenant that we are under has made the first one obsolete so any evil covenant that we were under previously any agreement that we entered into previously blindly ignorantly because of the new covenant that we are under come on make sure you repeat it after me because of the new covenant that we are under the first one is now made obsolete and anything that is becoming obsolete will disappear that's what the word says so that old covenant that evil covenant that we are under has now disappeared it's obsolete because we are under a new covenant a stronger covenant that is speaking over our lives in jesus name